we're going to illustrate developed by Sicard from France. His company is selling a commercial version of this. The one we have here is just an evaluation copy. To illustrate this video, we're going to use the sample that we have introduced in 404 regarding the video sample, a single light controlled by two separate switches so the light can be turned on and off by two different switches. Of course, over in E404, we use the silos to perform the simulation. Then we compile it using Silings toolset, create the bitstream and download it to the build programmable evaluation board and test the resulting prototype design in real time. But EE614 is different. What we'd like to see is the two-dimensional, but the best is of the actual three-dimensional. I see physical layout. To do that by hand for the two-dimensional will consume a tremendous amount of time we got to adhere to the design rule provided, make sure the spacing, the overlaps, predicted diffusion capacitances, and moreover, the resulting physical layout is just flat. Typically, to simplify it, we use a so-called stick diagram. But now we are very lucky, Sicard provided us this tool that can automatically create all of that and moreover you can extract from the layout a spice netlist and we can use the orcad p spice to do this simulation to illustrate this software can convert a high level hardware description language like Verilog. so our sample is the light L controlled by two input switches and that is simply the exclusive board. This code can be can be used to create the layout and P spice netlist, which we will demo now. Select compile very log file. Pick and select the very log code. Open it. On the right hand side, let us put a check mark by adding three vertical line bus, one for each of the variable S1, S2, and L. Click the compile, close this, and we have the two-dimensional physical layout properly created, and all of the requirement about polysilicon and all the others spacing overlapping has been already automatically calculated by the microwind software. Here on the left, we had three vertical bus that we have requested from left to right, representing for output L, followed by S2 and S1 connection. We can also perform a three-dimensional IC layout successive steps of creating it. Here, to begin with, we have an initial steps where a substrate is available. The next step is by adding N minus diffusion, followed by silicon dioxide trench isolation, added tin oxide growth, tin oxide reduction, followed by polysilicon deposit, adding N plus implant, P plus implant, embedded DRAM, add a second polysilicon deposit, create the contact, add a metal deposit, the bio hole and field, add a two metal deposit, buy a two hole and field. Let me shrink the size so we can see the upper half, upper side of that. Now we will add a metal tree deposit, by a three hole and filled, are the fourth 
metal deposit divider for hole and field, a pith deposit and the buyer five hole and field, add a metal six deposit, passivation oxide, passivation etching, and the end of the process. It's quite powerful tools. Now we are back to the two-dimensional view of the physical color-coded physical layout, whereby the blue represent metal, the dark blue slightly lighter blue in this area here. The darker blue is metal too, where we introduce bar. The red vertical represent polysilicon material. And this here represent contact, the light circle or rectangle. The N plus diffusion is shown here in green. And some of them, the, the, the brown one is P plus diffusion. Next, let us extract, attempt to extract the P spice net list so we can use the spice tools to perform the simulation. To do that, select simulation parameter. Here we're going to adapt the supply of three volts, IO line supply three volts also. We're going to carry out a total of 190 seconds simulation time. And looking at our code, that is already correct, three volts. And the output is assigned to node three, input node seven and eight. The most connection is three of them NMOS, the other three are PMOS, and the corresponding MOS transistor uses level three for NMOS and level three also for PMOS and the spice parameter is automatically provided. The transient analysis as desired all the way to 100 and it uses a P or cut P spice pro processor. So to click one more time to make sure that is the result Yes, that is one, and you can print that if you want to, or simply click OK. Now let us invoke our PSPICE tools. I will use the version from ORCAD 15.7, the size of which is 600. 80 megabyte if you go there and download it. So now I'm going to, let me open the file, which is a CIR type. Well, it automatically created the file in the name of example.cir and that is the one that just basically read through a while ago. The only thing that is missing here to carry out a successful simulation run is the signal S1, S2 has not been shown here, so we had to provide that. Which I already have done, so let me close this so I can open that one. 